quickly show in how to remove copper from transformers. Toroids, still a transformer. She's got a toroid all bead in the middle. Plenty of other things in there. These are off stepper motors. Plenty of copper on them. Quite easy to unwind. I'll show you how to do some of the more difficult ones. There's many uses in electronic projects, too many to list, but I'll be using it for smelting. This one's quite easy, others all require much more of a smack. As you can see, it's stalled in the middle there. Off the epoxy. It's all over there. You can sometimes separate the metal by just giving it a good whack. As you can see, starting to loosen. See how left. There we go. Put on some gloves. It's getting a bit messy. <laughs> Starting to fall off there. Try and use the hook side. Smack it out from the middle. Oof, nearly. It's quite difficult. This is why I'm showing you. Very high grade copper inside transformers though. Unlike wires, you don't need to strip them or anything, it's just there, raw, useful. Look at that. Quite high gauge, thick, thick copper wire. Always more useful. Probably use all these steel segments as well. Look at all them. <laughs> Quite a lot. It's that bit done. Didn't take too long. Don't advise using a heavier hammer unless you want bits of these flying at you like razor blades. Which can happen. The rest is just tape. Just pick that off. There's a big copper chunk underneath. I'll be keeping some, using the rest to make some copper bars. I'm probably a induction heater, so I can heat knives and such. They're quite simple. Many videos on that online. Same principle as an electric cooker, kettle, so on. Oh. 
There you go. Ooh, shiny. Lots. That'll then wind off there easily. I think I'll keep it on there on the coil storage. As I do need some. And I have plenty more in here. Toroidal transformer next. It's got some enameled wire there, that red stuff. Quite thick. It's good for electronics projects. Tesla coils, things like that. Making the secondary coil. Tough, stick copper, couple of millimeters. Yeah. Probably better off using this red enameled stuff for an induction heater and other electric projects. Stuck on one of the other coils. Guess I'll have to remove them as well. All of these transformers are out of PC parts, power supplies, mainly, as I had several, which are covered in these. So, power supplies, good source of copper. Not so good if you're trying to hunt for scrap gold or silver. between the coil. Should be able to remove the red one now though. Yep. Nice. Quite a lot. More than it looks when it's wrapped around the bead. both at the same time. Try and unwrap the whole coil as quick as I can. This can take a long time unwrapping coils as you can see. I don't know any quicker way of doing this apart from the hard way manually. And 
quite lengthy. Okay, the red one. Quite a lot there. Trying to get a couple of kilograms, already are very close. We need a couple more, 100 grams, couple of 100 grams, and then uh, I'll have a kilogram. I'll have a melt, probably 10 bars. This stuff. Hmm. Hmm. Broke straight off. Weak plastic, strong copper. Little road or bead. Just some sort of metal mixture in there. Apply a different property to it. Bad from that little one. Plus all that. Feels quite weighty. Same principle for all these and wrapping tape, breaking off the legs. It's welded. These unwrap easily. And that's all we get copper along well, with transformers. Small ones. Well. Not so small. Till next time.